You know, we have so much focus on STEM, and yet there is this awakening, there is this recognition that there needs to be something else there. We're on a wave now of seeing how important the humanities and the arts are. And what I have found in the past two years is that the students I am now seeing in medical school, in public health, in other health professions are entirely different. They don't feel comfortable in making a choice between science and art. My name is Helena Winston. I am a second year psychiatry resident and I worked at the Guggenheim Museum as an editor. Sure, everyone gets sick and it's something you can read about in a textbook, but you never really understand it until you really hear the stories from the people themselves. I would wish this on my worst enemy. And that's the other thing the arts and humanities do. They foster empathy. They provide us opportunities to learn about lives we might never encounter. Well, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people hear about art in the health sciences campus and their first impression is, why is this a part of health professional training and practice? But uh, it doesn't take long to think about that before you start to realize the similarities between looking carefully at a piece of art and looking carefully at a human being. The Art of Observation is a two-hour required session for all first-year medical students. In it, we look at the importance of looking and describing in great detail. We talk about communication, and we have discussions that relate to these ideas of doctoring, uh, but around works of art. Looking is, is medicine. Looking and seeing and saying actually comprise what doctors do. The ultimate realization of, of what we're trying to do is that a doctor is prepared to go beyond just the, the facts or the diagnosis and be there as a, a person and a full, a full person with that patient. We realize that, oh, I see things very differently than you see things, but you are bringing some important information to the table. Everyone wants to get well, but I think even more than being well, they'd like to be heard and felt cared for.